All right, we've been getting a lot of questions lately about joint health, the different products that are on the market. What can I do for my horse? What are some ideal treatments and given the situation? In the last few years, we've been inundated with new joint therapies. So we're gonna take some time. We're gonna go through a video series talking about what's out there. We're gonna talk about all the different products that are on the market now and which one may or may not be best for your horse. I wanna to start today's video with a discussion on the basics of a joint. Now remember, lameness is the number one cause of poor performance in a horse. The joint is the number one cause of lameness. So we're gonna spend some time, do a little bit of a deep dive into what actually hurts inside of a joint. What makes the joint have an issue? So this is our generic joint here. This could be any joint, fetlocks, stifles, carpus, coffin joint, doesn't matter. This is what a joint's composed of. Joints where two bones come together, it's gonna to have here, it's gonna have articular cartilage that's gonna provide a smooth gliding surface for each end of the bone. Within that, you're gonna have a joint capsule. The joint capsule is gonna have these small hair-like cells called synovium. Synovium are responsible for producing the synovial fluid that is inside the joint capsule. Synovial fluid provides nourishment for the articular cartilage, as well as provides a lubrication for this joint. So when we talk about a joint and we talk about what hurts inside of a joint, we're gonna talk about a couple different things. Cartilage itself has no nerve endings. This is not where pain comes from. Pain's gonna come from the joint capsule itself and these synovium. When these synovium become painful, they get really thick and inflamed. Once the synovium begin to hurt, the joint capsule, as you see over here, can go from thin to very thick. This is gonna cause abnormal production of joint fluid, and you're not gonna have a joint that's healthy. So when we look, a natural progression for developing, you've all heard the term arthritis, but a natural progression to form arthritis is we start out with the synovitis. Synovitis is just simply inflammation of the synovium. They start out nice and thin, and then over time they get thicker. That's called a synovitis. If they have synovitis long enough, this will lead to a capsulitis. We have a thin, normal capsule here. We have a thick joint capsule over here. This is capsulitis. This is a painful condition. It's gonna hurt at the insertion of that joint capsule into the bone. Also, the joint capsule itself can be very painful. If you've ever sprained an ankle, this is commonly, when you're, if your joint's a little bit swollen afterwards, you're experiencing a capsulitis. Now then eventually, if you have a synovitis and a capsulitis long enough, you'll get inflammation in the joint itself, and that's what we term arthritis. So when we're looking at a joint, this is an ultrasound of the palmar pouch of the fetlock joint. What you're seeing here, these are those thick synovium. Typically on ultrasound, we can vary, these are very small, very difficult to pick up. So these synovium come very, very thick. And if you look, let me go to another view. This is the joint capsule we were talking about. So if you notice, there's no synovium. The reason being this joint's been inflamed for long enough that this joint capsule has gotten incredibly, incredibly thick and we've actually lost some of those synovium. So we're losing our ability to produce healthy joint fluid in this joint. Additionally, what you'll see these white flecks that you're seeing inside here, these subtle white flecks, this is actually fibrin accumulation in the joint. With severe arthritis, we'll actually start to see fibrin deposition from the joint trying to stabilize itself and trying to take care of itself. So now that you've seen what happens physically inside the joint, let's talk about what you don't see. This is how we progress from a synovitis to a capsulitis to an arthritis. When a joint experiences any kind of trauma, and this could be as simple as overwork, it could be taking a bad step. It could be through chronic repetitive use. We're gonna get the production of a compound called interleukin-1. Interleukin-1 is what we term a cytokine. When interleukin-1 is released, it binds a receptor inside the joint. This receptor is gonna cause the release of three main things. Prostaglandin, which is your owl and your pain, and matrix metalloproteinases, and collagenases. These two enzymes can have, have uh, destructive effects on the articular cartilage itself. The other thing is these three enzymes within the joint will cause a release of additional interleukin-1. So we have a vicious cycle here. Interleukin-1 binds a receptor, releases, it, releases these three products. They're gonna recruit more production of interleukin-1 and the cycle continues. 
As long as this cycle continues, we're going to get more and more degradation of the joint. Over time, this is how we're going to progress from a synovitis to the capsulitis to an arthritis. This is how your joint deteriorates. What we've talked about today is the stuff you can't see that causes things that we do see within the joint. Stay tuned. Keep sending questions. We're going to start reviewing joint products next week. Thanks.